Please welcome Zachary Hunt. How are you guys doing? Yeah. Anybody in here fans of today's show, or at least watch it? Yep. I said we've all at least seen it. Like we know what the fuck it is. Like it was in my house forever as a kid. And I've been a drug addict for about 25 years. So guess where I've been living most of my life? And you know it always started off the same way. You hear about some presidential scandal, some bullshit going on across the U.S. But anymore, it's some dumb shit. Like you turn it on, it's like, uh, hi folks. Uh, top story sweeping the nation today. Scientists have been saying that you might actually be a chihuahua and not a cocker spaniel. Stay tuned out the commercial break and Dr. Ken Boots University will be here in Wales. And we'll cut to commercial and you hear some shit that should be the fucking news, but somehow it's just like a 30 minute spot. Did you live in North Carolina from 1920 to 2020? You have AIDS. I'm like, well, that's nice to know. And they were talking about the concussion that happened during the Miami game, which is weird, because that was like the least televised concussion, but it's the most talked about one. And you know, they like tried to downplay that, like it wasn't a big issue either. They're like, well, last year there was 279 concussions, but this year it's down to 186, which is a weird way of saying there's only gonna be 186 people that are gonna shoot themselves and their family inside of Walmart in 40 years. Got weird. And you guys watch that Jeffrey Dahmer? Yeah. It. Like, it's just like the third remake of the same fucking story. Six. Six, exactly. It's like, what are you gonna do? Like, throw in like a side character now? It's like Jeffrey's side character? Like, you can't do this, Jeffrey! He's like, I gotta eat him, man. <laughs> it's fucking stupid. Like, but like, everybody does the same repetitive jokes too. Like, the five guys thing. I've seen the same fucking memes. And everybody always talks about the same victim, the last one they finally got him caught. Nobody talks about the one victim that I always remember. The Asian dude that had like a hole drilled in his head that got out and the cops stopped him and like Jeffrey's like, no, that's just my lover. And they're like, all right, get out of here, rascal. <laughs> but you guys, that was a perfect opportunity to stop Asian eight. Because he ended up being eight. And like one thing I will say about Jeffrey Dahmer, hands down, that dude loved the bone. And since I'm talking about serial killers, Ted Bundy was like the last bad. But, but you know what's weird? He also worked the suicide hotline. But he was also fucking dead girls. So like, you're really selling yourself short on the market there. But maybe the girls that were calling in are the ones that he killed. Maybe he was the doctor at Kevorki and a Borkin. <laughs> It's possible. Did you guys know that there's actually a roller coaster you can ride that like it goes so fast it kills you when you go down? It's obviously not built, but scientifically it can be built. And since we're all about cutting costs, don't you think that would be the perfect place to send like pedophiles and death row inmates? Yeah, it's like a fun little ride to the other side. I mean, they're gonna keep going down, but they get one last up. This is we're talking about pedophiles. Did you guys know that earlier they were trying to change their names to maps? Minor attracted people, people attracted minors? Maps. Yeah, America's like, yeah, we're gonna pass on that shit. But I'm okay with them calling themselves maps. Cause now we go to hunt pedophile down, we're going on a fucking map quest. <laughs> Should be fun. And you know, the queen died last month. I really didn't give a shit. I love the band queen, but not the, oh, it's your name over but she will be remembered for three things for me. Being strongly opposed to people that said hey to everybody who's on board with her. Looking like a fucking horse. And jocking the commonwealth from her people. Folks, that's a true triple crown. <laughs> I think there's two more I was gonna do. Oh yeah. In the Midwest, we're all about like hospitality. Like, I almost feel like we're obligated to be stuck in Indiana because we feel there's a door that we should be holding open that hasn't been held open yet. And like, God forbid there be two fucking doors and you're both standing there like, oh, come on, Fred. That's the 30 minutes I ain't got to give. Like, but I find a compliment, especially when I'm high, when there's like the one door locked and the other one's not. Because nine times out of 10, I'm walking with that fucking locked door. But if I get through it, that's my highlight of the day. Speaking of highlights, like you hear about those a lot, right? But when I think of a highlight, I think of a lava lamp. 
And we don't hear about low lights, but like low lights are good for walking and fucking, right? Except the moon. But you would, God forbid, you'd never want to be low light in walking or fucking. It'd be uncomfortable. And then since we're talking about uncles, like, there's this weird thing he told me about, like when I was younger, I used to run around and just put my little dick in things. Didn't matter if it was a VCR, like the fucking three-wheeler on the side of the street. I quit, I don't do it still, trust me. Wouldn't be doing an open mic right now if I did. I may go. But I come to find out, I guess it was a hereditary thing in the family. My uncle did it too. His was a little more isolated, because he only put his dick in me. And I'll end on this. You guys fans of history at all? Yeah. Me too. Doesn't matter if it's trying to learn about it, trying to make it, or race it home to delete it from the internet. But I found out earlier this year, Nancy Reagan, when she was younger, quite the little throat goat. Like, she was blowing all of Hollywood. Gone with the wind, inspired by one of her blowjobs. And for you younger generation, her blowjobs will leave you in euphoria. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure this pissed Ronald Reagan off because every time he comes home, he's like, God damn it, Nancy. I'm trying to sell these people don't just say no and you won't do it for the dick. <laughs> but you know, every relationship has its ups and downs, right? Rough patches. But maybe they co op that shit. Relationship goals. Like, how do we know the Berlin Wall didn't go down? Because behind the scenes, he was like, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down those drugs. <laughs> But I didn't know, did you guys know he tried to run for president the first time in 1968? Against Tricky Dick Nixon, who went on to be the president until Watergate got him out. But it got me thinking, were the Reagans so pissed off by that loss in 68? Did they leak that story to the Washington Post? Was Nancy Reagan deep front? And if she was, champion that woman. Single-handedly the biggest dick she ever took down. All right, thank you, that's my time. Four more time for that